Hello my friend, I'm John Silva. In this tutorial, I decided to make a tutorial for very beginners people that wants to create illustrations using vector techniques. I will show you how you can make a design like this one. So in the end of this mini class, you will be able to create this character from scratch, step by step, very slow. So feel free to join me in this exercise that is gonna help you to understand how you can use affinity and how you can apply and create this awesome result. So let's get started. So let's make this very simple. Guys, as you see, this is my document that I'm using here on Affinity. I'm creating here, just to show you this, settings here, key FAD, and then go here and create artboard and set this to 144. This is the document that I usually use. Why I like to use the artboard? Because I like to change the size of my document easily without going to the file over here on top. Congratulations, my friends. Now you know how to create a document. Now it's time to insert here shapes. Go here, I will start the ellipse. But before we do that, let me make this in white, the color here in white. And here the stroke, where you can enable the stroke pen right here. I will apply this to can be three. And then I will insert the ellipse by holding shift. And then I will have this result as you can see. And then I'm gonna move this onto here. After that, I will duplicate this selection and bring this and move this to below. Stretch this. So as you see, we have two shapes at this moment that represent this silhouette here that you see. Then what I will do it is to merge this by selecting both with Ctrl and Shift pressed, and then I can go here in Add. Then it's gonna be merged. After that, I will now insert a circle, which is ellipse right here. Make it in black. Duplicate this to another side. How you can duplicate? Very simple. You can hold Alt Shift and then drag this onto this side here. And what I want to do, it is to duplicate now this both shape, as you see now, and then I will make this in transform separately. Once you enable this option, what you can do, that case pay attention, I will duplicate this by using my hotkey, but here just show you one more time, duplicate selection, you can go here and make this as white, and then you can now decrease the size and make move this onto here. This option, which is the transform object separately, is going to make the transform, you know, separately. Then you can duplicate this one more time to this area right here. Now what I want to do here, it is to use the ellipse tool again and add this shape. And then I'm gonna make this in orange. And this shape, I'm gonna make this in yellow. Very great, we have now this character, but we are not finished yet. I want to add even more details to show you how that works. What is important to apply here when you are creating that case, it is the convert to curves. Here on top, as you see, we have this option that's gonna make the circle one that you have, and then I will use the A, which is the node tool. The node tool will allow you to change the curves here. I'll give you a zoom right here in this area, and then I'll move this to top, change this to something like this. Also, I can create a node that will create this shape, and also another one that will create this shape here. Something that I'm using a lot, it is the contour tool, this option here. This option will allow you to make the shape even more bold. So if you want to create characters like I'm doing right now, you can make them more cute by adding this contour tool technique. So I'm gonna make something like this. As you see, we are getting this result, okay? And please leave it a like if you're enjoying this tutorial. Now I want to add a bit more details to this character. First of all, I will duplicate this buddy here. Let's call this layer as buddy. Now I can go here on edit and then duplicate selection. After this, I will resize this down by scaling this from this corner, holding shift and control, and then I will do this. Until here is fine. And then I'm gonna make this more, let's say yellow. And then I'm gonna remove the outline. I don't want to have this outline on here, just like that. Very good. After this, what we can do in that case, it depends about the style that we are creating, but let's say that you want to have this 
outlines over here. What you need to understand about the outlines is that we have this panel which is called the stroke and here you have the width and also we have the alignment. The alignment it's very important that you understand you have the to center, alignment to the center, to the side or to the outside. I honestly like more the outside because it makes this even nicer in terms of art here. Well congratulations now I'm going to increase even more this width in order to make this uh, even better okay now i will start to group here the eyes like that holding ctrl and shift and keep the shape selected and then ctrl g in order to group them all and of course you can also if you want i can make this more to here and this more to here as you see we are just building this simple character in order to explain how the affinity works here using techniques now let's add here one more detail inside of the shape. I usually like to go here on a certain side because I can draw directly inside of this shape. So I'm gonna use now the pencil tool for the first time of this tutorial. So pencil tool is responsible to create organic lines like that. So I will create something like this. I will remove now the fill and then I will have this result. What's important when you are creating, uh, I can make this, you know, sad mouth or happy mouth. So it's gonna depend about the feeling that you want to bring your design. But in that case, I wanna make a happy design. Remember to keep your project, save it, all right? Go here on file and then hit save or save as in the place that you want to keep save it. And now by using the pencil tool, you can draw even more lines. Look at this. I will select here the pencil tool and make sure to use the stabilizer turn it on. This option here will allow you to have a more smooth line in that case. I will go here and click and draw one time. I will clean the nodes by using the A, which is the node tool. That's fine. And then what I will do, it is to duplicate this line to another side in order to have a more symmetrical line. I will do here and then I will flip by going to this option that's called flip horizontal. And then I can now select both line and change the stroke width by going on here on top and then change right here. So we need to keep the outline consistent by doing that. And now I'd like to show you how you can add some quick highlights. I'll do this in a very simple way. I'm gonna use the pencil tool, that case. And then I'll use here the outline, which is this second option on top as white. And after that, add the light in the air that is very white. Here in that case, I'm gonna think like this here. And then I'm gonna make this with it higher. And then I'm gonna delete this line in order to keep this more cleaner. And then I can add one more time here. By using the pencil tool, consider that you are adding the areas that you have light. So using the insert inside, I can draw immediately here inside of the shape and have this result as you can see. And also we can change a little bit the character to make this even nicer. I can make this like this and also I can make this bigger in case that you want to make a dookie. And then what's important to do here it is to group all the elements that you have created. Let me show you how that works. As you can see here on Affinity, as you go with the project, it starts to get many layers. And how you can solve this issue? you need to start to group everything for example here I have this object you need to select all group everything and then you can start to call this like project and then I will start to group everything by elements I will group this by calling this as complete body this will be the face and then as you see these are the lines and then if you want to let's say animate this after you can make this separated and then you can make this like that keep in mind that if you want to animate you need to rig all the elements that you have now let's create a background for this character i'll click here on the artboard and then i'll pick up a blue color that one's fine Then I will go here in file, I will click here in export. Keep in mind, if you go to export, as you see, it's gonna export everything that it is on the artboard. But if you want to export this character separately, what you need to do, it is this. Keep the project selected, and then you can go here in file, and click export, and then you can go here in selection only. By doing that, you will be able to export only the, the character with the background transparent, all right? You just click here, and then you can export in the area that 
you want. Congratulations if you do this exercise here with me. I just want to let you know that I have a new course on my Vectorize Club and also on Udemy. On there you can learn how you can create illustrations for beginners. Also you'll see how you can paint, how you can make drawings and things that it is very simple using a finished designer. If you really like this kind of tutorial which is made for very beginners people like you perhaps, feel free to comment here if you want to see more tutorials like this where I go very slowly in each step that helps you to achieve results like this and also you can share your design in my instagram if you want to tag me on instagram and then i can share your design in my instagram well that's it for now i hope that you enjoy this tutorial as much as i did and well that's it and see you in the next video that is available to you right here thank you and see you soon bye bye